Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about how you would go about getting lab research experience at a university. This video is mainly targeted for college undergraduates, but some of the tips should be useful for grad students looking for lab positions as well. Why is this information important? Well, if you're a college student thinking about going to graduate school, especially doing a PhD, having research experience is a must. But also, working in a lab is an opportunity for you to find out whether you even like doing research. By the way, like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Also check out my channel, I like making videos on lessons learned in grad school and academic stuff. And maybe I'll make a fun video here and there. My intention in most of my videos is to help out other people uh, by providing you with information and content that would have helped me uh, while I was attending school. So when I first entered college at UC Berkeley as a freshman, I was actually very, very worried that I wouldn't be able to find a uh, research experience if I wanted it. UC Berkeley is a public school and there's a lot of students. Uh, when I was choosing colleges, I was at the visit day at Caltech, which is a small private school. A lot of the students at Caltech told me that one of the benefits of going to a small private school like Caltech is that if you're an undergrad, uh, you can actually get research experience. Whereas if you go to a larger school, uh, it's very difficult to get research experience. Ultimately, I went to Berkeley because it was cheaper, it was closer to home, and it had a great engineering program. However, I was still very worried entering that if I wanted research experience, I wouldn't be able to get it. It turns out I never had trouble getting research experience as an undergraduate while I was at Berkeley when I wanted it. I think every single one of my friends who wanted research experience while they were in college were able to get it. So I'm under the impression that even if you are a college student, it's pretty easy to get research experience uh, if you know how to go about it. So one quick caveat before I begin. I think it's much easier for a college undergraduate to get research experience if you're willing to work as a volunteer for free in a lab. And if you think about it, it makes sense. If a professor sees that, as an, even if you're an undergrad or a college student, if you're very, very passionate about the subject, then like why would they turn down free labor from you? I mean, there might be exceptions, maybe some really popular professors with too many students, or maybe they just don't have room in the lab. Then I feel like they might have to put a cap on it. Other than that, I think most professors would be happy to have new students come in and contribute to the lab. If you want to get paid, then I think it might be a little more competitive to get a lab position. Okay, so what are some ways you can go about getting research experience in lab? One common way to join a lab is to ask a professor from whom you've taken the class with. Obviously, it helps if you've done well in the class, if the class also had some sort of a project in the end and you did a really good job in it, uh, that's certainly something that the professor will take note of. And at the very end of the class, you can try and schedule an appointment with a professor. Uh, make sure you read up on their research and know like what they're about. You can like talk with them and ask about what they're working on. And in the end, you can like pop the question and be like, all right, well, professor, like this looks really great. Uh, you do really interesting work. And uh, I was wondering if uh, maybe I might be able to uh, volunteer in your lab. And again, I emphasize, please make sure to read up on their research before you go and meet with them. You don't want to just go in and be like, oh, well, can I work for your lab? Um, without even like knowing what they do. And I say that it helps to have gotten a good grade in the class or to have done well in the class. Although I was able to land a gig with a professor and he never even asked for my grade. So, you know, it depends. But that's one way you can get research experience. Another way to get research position is to apply for a job posting or apply for a research program. Job postings are obvious. Uh, you just apply and it's hit or miss. Uh, I'm going to focus on uh, research programs. I actually applied for a Berkeley bioengineering program. That was one of my first big research gigs while I was a student at Berkeley. And whatever institution you're at, uh, you should try and do some research and see, are there any research programs either in my department or in other people's department? And yes, your research doesn't have to be in your own department. I was an EECS student at Berkeley, electrical engineering, computer science, but I joined a bioengineering uh, research program. Uh, doing medical imaging. You can also look for uh, research programs that are not in your school. For instance, I think Caltech had a very famous uh, undergraduate research program called SURF. I think other schools might have SURF programs as well. Of course, if you're applying to another school's research program, I do think it might be a little more difficult for you to get in since they're probably prioritizing their own students, but that's something you can do. Uh, and keep in mind, they can also be very competitive because they can only select a certain number of people and most of them also provide the students with uh, stipends. You should understand that you're not restricted to just applying for research programs or asking professors with whom you've taken a course with. You can also take initiative and contact uh, professors that you've never met directly uh, and potentially ask them for research positions as well. And I think that's actually the most effective way to finding a research position is looking through like your school website, your department website, or maybe a neighboring department and seeing if there's a professor working on something that you're interested in. So by popular demand, I will provide you with what I think is a good email template for how I would go about 
asking a professor for a research position. So this is me asking a professor who specializes in medical imaging hardware uh, for a research position. Dear Professor Blah, my name is John. I am a junior majoring in electrical engineering and computer science here at UC Berkeley. I have a signal processing and RF circuits background and I'm very interested in learning more about the medical imaging field. I came across your group website and saw that your students work on high field MRI coil design and the minimization of specific absorption rate for safety purposes. I was wondering if you might be open to the possibility of me volunteering in your lab as a research assistant this coming quarter, as this is a topic I would love to learn more about. If you would like to discuss more in person, I am happy to come by your office to speak with you about this. For your reference, I have also attached a copy of my resume to this email. Make sure to attach a copy. Thank you very much for your consideration, John. So you'll notice I did a few things. I introduced myself. I explained which research projects the professor is working on that I'm interested in. Uh, I asked that I am open to meeting up with them in person. And finally, I attached a copy of my resume so that they can take a quick look at who I am. So this is a template I'm providing for you. Obviously, you want to change the name, uh, the degree, your background, whatever. And you can change the language to match your own personality. Um, but this is generally how I would go about asking a professor over email for a research position. If you want to contact a professor that's not at your university, uh, that might be a little more challenging, but again, it's also possible. But I want to warn you that it can be kind of difficult. Uh, understand that a lot of professors, they get a lot of different emails and requests like this. So if you're a student at the same institution, they're more likely to respond to you. Uh, if you're not a student at the institution, then it could be like hit or miss. But if they don't respond, please don't take it personally. I myself have tried contacting uh, professors outside of my uh, institution. I got one response and that was just very lucky. A professor at a different institution that I contacted uh, took my information and passed it along to another professor. And that professor contacted me because I happened to have a very specific skill that he was looking for. But again, that was only like one response. So I expect that easily I could have gotten like no responses. So I think that pretty much covers uh, the different ways that I would go about getting research as a college student. And some of these tips might also apply for grad students who are looking for a lab position as well. And I reiterate, when you're meeting with these professors, make sure you show up uh, prepared. You don't have to know everything about what they're doing, but you should have like a general idea to be able to like ask questions and see what they're all about. And I'm optimistic that many of them would be happy to take on new students, especially if you're willing to join as a volunteer. And you might want to brush up on your resume just in case they want to see it. I hope this was helpful. Uh, like and subscribe if you want. Feel free to leave comments and have a nice day.